I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Hey, this is Matt once again, coming at you with another sick movie review. And this is actually the second try of doing this because the first one I was coughing like every five milliseconds, so I'm hopefully do better here. But this is for Jose, who's, this is a PayPal request. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who's been sending me requests on my PayPal, as well as people who've joined my Patreon. The links to both of them are down below in the info box. Now this is for Area 51, the 2015 found footage film directed by Oren Pelli, Pelli. This is the guy who did the first Paranormal Activity, which I wasn't even a fan of. And this is a film that I would say made me mad in the fact that I could actually see potential in this film. And what I mean by that is The plot is simple. Three people, they're at a party, they're friends, and one of their friends goes missing, but they figure, oh, he left early, something like that. They're driving home, they find their friend in the middle of the street, trying to find out that he feels he's been abducted. He was abducted, he came back. I don't know if it's a matter of just hours. I'm guessing just hours. Then it abruptly cuts to three months later. <coughs> there we go. Now what happens, the three have made a plan to sneak into Area 51. They go to this lady whose father used to work there and she has all these plans and They've developed all these techniques as if it's a F Mission Impossible movie. So it's found footage, but yet, like found footage in a way you're supposed to believe in what's happening, but the boundaries of, of that are pushed so f full that it, it explodes like the guy in Big Cholo, China, like thunder. I don't think he's going to stop. And let alone when I get to the third act. But, I mean, they're talking about wearing these thermal suits and, but yet the, the way they describe it, and then like they tape something so that it brings down some level on their body that I guess the military would look for as well when they're standing in the desert. And then they have something that distorts signals. I'm like, what the hell? <clears throat> if you wonder if there's a noise, there's a nice little dog there who is snoring, which is probably what you will do while watching this movie, because this movie can be rather dull. And that's one of the big problems with this movie. It is rather dull, because a good hour and change of this movie, you could chalk up to as filler. What do I mean by that? Filler. If I label the events that happens in the first hour of this 90 minute movie, the beginning that I mentioned, me and the girl, like I mentioned, they need a T card type of thing. So they follow this guy 
They staked out his house. Two of them break in. This 15 minute scene in Night Vision, which has no tension, no suspense, because you know they're not going to get caught. You know they're not going to get caught. You want to know how I know you're not going to get caught? Because there'd be no movie. There'd be no Area 51. You'd be in jail. It's over, pal. You dawed me. So the family comes home. They're hiding around. They just sneak around. They get the <coughs> fucking thing. They fucking leave. Everything's fine. There's no steers. There's no suspense. There's no... There's nothing. There's nothing. So it's like, what was the fucking point? Oh, because otherwise the running time would be too short. Well, you know, before that, they go to Hooters and, hey, I like Hooters and titties as much as the next guy. And it's just all, well, I guess they're just showing this to show that they have thermal cams and things of that nature. <coughs> Although the thermal cameras don't really come up much in the movie now that I think about it. They make a big deal about these thermal cameras. The thermal part never really does come up now that I think about it when they did the Area 51 I don't think they used the thermal bits one time so what was the point of that I've heard that this movie got re-edited or reshot or retooled or re-scripted for years that's why it was like delayed for a while if that's true I buy it I like to see what the original was because like they'll probably go three months later. That's again, okay. There's no in between of those three months from the guy being abducted to now. There's this plan to oh now there's here's this thermal cam thing. Well, what happened with the thermal cam thing? Nothing. Uh, this woman who pops up later in the film and says, "I'm going to join you because my dad." Uh, died from probably these guys. I mean, does he work for them? But he committed suicide, but probably wasn't the case. Oh, I can help you. But she doesn't help him. But she doesn't do anything to help him. In fact, she becomes more of a... than the fucking other people. So she becomes really useless. Really fucking useless. So there was no point. What, just to have a chick in it? I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> and then the rest of ours fell with either... <clears throat> they arrive near Area 51 to these places where bars that or restaurants that have alien stuff around it and, you know, talking to the locals. Uh, what do you think's in Area 51? The the three friends want the lead guy who was abducted and returned back. The second guy, he's gone oh helping his friend. The third guy is the I call common sense man. Common sense one oh one. Because he's saying the things I'm thinking. Like, wait a minute. You guys broke into that place? Are you crazy? Wait a minute. I thought, you know Yeah, you talked about this, but I thought <coughs> When you got close enough, you guys would change your mind. and Which I could buy because years and years later, what happened? Look at the, the siege on Area 51. Remember when people like, we don't want to siege Area 51? Yeah, that never happened, did it? <clears throat> yeah, it never happened because they knew that they could get a bullet to the brain. But... He's that common sense man stays behind the car while the two guys and the girl sneak across the desert to Area 51. And even though they explain all these intricate stuff of the suits and having this thing with the mess up the wires, and it just still seems so much Mission Impossible stuff. And the fact that these are like three regular guys, like teenagers. 
it's hard for me to buy. Even them, them sneaking across the desert is it still looks really easy. They pretty much just dive and two times the the two times the uh, helicopter goes by. That's pretty much all that happens. And then what? Oh yeah, and then they get to the base. So that's literally fifty minutes in the movie. And then the next ten minutes is just girl wander around the outside with there's no security on this base it seems and that, that's an, that's what I was talking about before the believability they get into the buildings of the base so easily I have seen dog houses with more security than this fucking area 51 base the fucking bathroom here has more security than this fucking base. By that point to when the shit hits the fan, I would I would pay 50 bucks out of surprise that there were more than five fucking soldiers that we see. At least before then and when the, the shit hits the fan. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, come on, don't take me to a... F don't take me to the fucking movie Purple Rain and tell me I need a goddamn umbrella. Don't take me to fucking Taco Bell and tell me I'm at the border. I'm not a fucking idiot. Or at least that big of an idiot. Give me a break. Or cut me off a piece of that tit tap bar you're smoking the reefer in. Because these people are just literally running the hallways. They're doing... Can't hear that? That's what they're doing. They're... They're literally running around the hallways. What do you think? It's Ali, dumbfounded as I was, right? It's Ali, see, dumbfounded. What do you think? It's Ali. It's Ali. So it's just one of those things where don't treat me like a fucking fool. Come on now. They're just running around the hallways. Everything's empty. There's no security cameras. And then they see a couple stuff. Now they were finally in Area 51, the name of the fucking movie. These seed labs white blood that pulses and shoots at the glass as if someone's shooting a big old load must feel really good a cgi rock in a case flies out of glass i'm like i know the low budget found footage but you tell me you can't fucking you literally can't make a practical effect of a, a rock doing this and shooting out glass are you fucking kidding me? Are you that lazy? They find a spaceship. Again, no motherfucking security. They find an actual fucking spaceship. No guards. No cameras. Nothing. How about fucking Kevin McAllister would have more security in this goddamn place than I guess the U.S. Army. Air Force Marines. God damn. I would love to ask my friend Fabio, who is in the military. I'm like, if he sees this movie, is this how military bases are? They're this fucking empty? I've seen more people in the fucking desert than this fucking base. 
There's more people on this fucking camera than on the fucking base. And the, the, they just, lead guy just gets into the spaceship, then gets out, and even then, like, the design of the ship is very blasé, lame, and then the three of them about ready to leave. Oh, now something goes wrong. Grant, I don't know. See, jumping ahead, it doesn't really explain, because you know this is going to happen, the aliens are getting out. And they're pissed. But you don't really understand why the aliens are getting out now. If the movie was trying to tell us that it's these kids' fault, they did a really, really bad job driving that point home. They, they truly did. Uh, just like a lot of points. Like, the lead guy... They made such a big deal that he was abducted and he has, he's been pulled to here and he was the only one that could get into the, get into the, uh, spaceship and he wants to find the purpose and wants to find the calling and you know what purpose him and the girl did popped up in the fucking spaceship. And then five minutes later, the two buddies back to the car get popped up to the spaceship and then the movie ends. So that plot point really went nowhere. How did these aliens start escaping? Why is this military so empty? Don't know. At the very, very beginning, there's an interview with family and friends about the three guys disappearing. That seems like it was added after the fact. I would not be surprised if that's the case. The three months later seems abrupt. I mean, the one, the few moments I didn't mind. One, I don't mind the three um, friends. Sally, the one guy, he stays behind in the car. So he's not in it for like the last 10, 20, 30 minutes of movie until the very end. Which I liked him, so that sucked. The lead guy and the girl get split up with the other guy. Lead guy and the girl, everything that happened to them. They go in these caves, these tunnels. I actually didn't mind this scene because it's like underground. It's, it, like the one time in the movie they seemed a little bit eerie and atmospheric. There's like these random trinkets, clothes, glasses, little girl shoes. It's like, what the hell is this? Like some weird playpen. There's these pods littered everywhere. But then it's ruined because an alien pops up and it says, you see it blink and you miss it. And it's shitty CGI. And then the girl that, oh, you need me. You know what she says? What was that? Really? Really, what was that? You're in Area 51, and you're going, what was that? The lot is fucking monster. What do you think? Oh, it's a, it's a Ninja Turtle. No, actually, it's, it's Optimus Prime. He's having a bad day. Who the fuck do you think it is? Thinks he's Rambo. Rambo is a pussy. No, you're a pussy movie. And so I am getting more angry when I talk about this film. Because the idea of people going to Area 51, finding what's in there, I could see some entertainment value out of. There's a lot of lollygagging, pissing around for like an hour. And then you get a couple teeny things, but then you get either can't see shit, piss poor CG at points stupid writing like what was that and then the two they go, crawl in this tunnel they land in this white room one leads to another and they get pulled into the sky in a spaceship no answers are found no point was given no fuck should be given I guess the other guy 
Again, didn't mind a little bit where he's being ch he's running. He sees an alien pull a soldier into the dark. He hides under the table. I like the idea that the camera's on him. He's hiding under the table. We see things fly behind him. We even see the bit of the table rise up like, oh shit. He barely steeps an alien. He gets to an elevator. The alien like, it makes like an imprint trying to get to the, the character. Like moments like that, I'm like, okay, if this was in a better movie, yeah, I could deal with it. But then he gets out very easily too. He gets, he gets back to that fucking truck of his their buddy, common sense man, uh, really easily. And then you have the same typical fucking found footage ending. And I'm a guy that there are found footage movies I enjoy. The original Blair Witch Project, I went. And have done many videos as a why I love that film so much from nineteen from the nineteen nineties, nineteen ninety nine. As above, so below. I enjoy the tunnel. I really enjoy plenty of more movies. I really truly enjoy. Exists, Afflicted, Cloverfield, Chronicle. Because at least they, each one of them was trying to do something a little bit different, a little bit unique, or a little bit interesting. Here, it does nothing. Even the ending where, oh, now the two friends, they're ready to escape. You think they don't escape. Nope. They get both pulled into the sky in the spaceship. Which again, then what was the whole, oh, well, the lead guy, he was, no, everyone got abducted into the spaceship. Every, if, if it was like, oh, only that lead guy got abducted. So in a weird way, that was the purpose. But no, everyone got abducted. You could have at least some people live to tell the tale. And I think it would have been funny if the one guy who had common sense and told them not to do it is the one guy who lived. I think that would have been the kind of a smart way of, of writing the story. Who's the one guy that lived? The guy that had common sense and said, don't do it. <laughs> I think that would have been pretty, uh, kind of funny, actually, and kind of interesting. But hey, nope, this movie can't do any of that. So, I mean, other than I don't mind the three lead actors who played the friends and the idea and one or two handful moments in the th finale. Dull pacing, too much filler, too much fucking around, stupidity upon stupidity and unbelievability. Fucking dog houses have more security than a fucking Area 51. People literally jogging and huffing. Count one hand how many fucking soldiers you find. No cameras, no security, no alarms, or barely any alarms. Barely see any of the aliens. The point two seconds you see are CGI. Not enough in Area 51 to make the journey worth it. <clears throat> Lame, lousy, not scary. It's not even really a horror film until an attempt at an hour in. Not really. Just there, that first hour, there's nothing creepy or scary or suspenseful. I'm allergic to the bullshit. So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. But thanks to Jose for the PayPal request. This movie is dog shit. I gotta say. It's not. I've seen so much worse found footage films. Sad to say. Like uh, Monster. Which was a chlorophyll ripoff. That cost 10 cents. What the hell was that one called? The Zombie Diaries. There's another one. I forgot what. The Alien Origin. I mean, there's, there's so much worse ones. But yeah, this. Those are way worse. This, though, is more. 
annoying because I could see the potential and it's just done with such a lack of imagination, creativity, and anything in between. So thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.